Joining us now is David Hume Kennerly. He is the Pulitzer Prize winning photographer who resigned as a trustee from the foundation. Thank you very much for taking the time. Appreciate it. All right, so how do you know that this was about fear of potential Trump blowback? Well, I was in on a lot of discussions prior to this award being given out. And the bottom line is that's what's going on. And they've talked about the IRS and uh, not supporting candidates and all that. They've really settled on this one where the lawyer, apparently their lawyer, and by the way, it's the executive committee, not the whole board. They're, they're the ones who made the uh, decision. But um, they said by support, giving her an award, it may look like they're supporting her candidacy. The only problem is there was no candidacy. She didn't announce that she was running. And I read that statute, and, and I'm not a lawyer. I know you're surrounded by them there. But um, it, it definitely said, uh, it, it, it said, it talked about candidates. That was it. And uh, I did actually get a little input on that, and uh, it said, she was uh, she wasn't a party to this conversation uh, either about the award and uh, she she is a courageous person and I wanted her to get it but it just wasn't me I mean a lot of people in this country think she deserved it but how how would how do they fear that Donald Trump could retaliate against something like the Gerald Ford Foundation? Have you listened to him lately? <laughs> He's talking about retribution. Uh, weaponizing the IRS was something that I think was uh, a fear among some of the older uh, members of the foundation. Um, that was definitely going around. Like uh, at the time, it, now they've settled on just the IRS thing, but everybody seems to be afraid of Trump. And I think that was a, one of the points when you look at Gerald Ford and his career, his courage, uh, this whole thing is about President Ford's legacy and Liz Cheney's courage. I, I don't know anybody in this country who deserves an award more than she does. And she's not in it for award. She, in her own words, she wants to keep Trump away from the Oval Office, never becoming president again. And, um, she gets death threats for saying those kind of things. What happened when you resigned? Was there you know, any kind of response from the organization? Were they disappointed that you had gone public and accused them of this? You know, they were strangely quiet about this. Uh, several board members have come to me and really agreed with what I did. There are only about six people left there who actually worked for President Ford. I probably spent more time with him during the course of uh, my duties as the chief White House photographer than anyone. I knew him really well. And uh, uh, most people were supportive. I've got this, I had no intention of this thing becoming like a big deal, but it uh, uh, it's become public. I've had 99% favorable feedback. I can't even believe that. And um, I think people are happy that somebody's speaking up. And I didn't feel good about doing this. And I'm not like carpet bombing the Ford Foundation. That's not the intent. It's like making people aware they can't keep quiet if they really believe in uh, the danger of what happens if Trump becomes president. Did Liz, did Liz Cheney reach out to you to thank you? Well, Liz and I are close friends. Uh, she didn't know about she didn't know about my resignation. She got the letter at the same time as the rest of the board did. Yeah, I've talked to her afterwards, and uh, she was grateful that I stood up. Her dad was the same, and uh, I worked with him every day in the White House. David Hume Kennerly, thank you very much for taking the time to come on the program. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.